Hello, should I start? Mm. Hello guys, how are you? Hi. Um, today I'm now looking at um, River Profiles. This is great um, 12 geography content job for the guys. So when we look at river profiles, what do we look at? We look at what is called longitudinal profile of a river, the transverse profile of a river. What is a longitudinal profile of a river? A longitudinal profile of a river shows the length of the river from the source to the mouth. Transverse profiles. Transverse profile shows or it is a cross section of the river from one bank to another. Now, listen, grade twelves. I have drawn for you a longitudinal profile of a river here, and it shows the length of the river from the source to the mouth. The source is where the river starts to flow from. And remember, rivers flow from high points to low points. So at the end of the river here, this is where we get the mouth. Now, when we look at the river, when we want to analyze our profiles of the river, we defined our river into three sections. So I'm going to have my upper course, I'm going to have the middle course, I'm going to have the lower course. Now, when we explain these profiles of a river, I, this line indicated in red here shows how the river looks like. This is your river from the upper course to the middle course. The middle course, it starts to bend. You start to have those meanders and then as the the volume of the water increases towards the mouth because we know that we are now approaching the end of the river. Now in the upper course of the river, in terms of the gradient, the gradient is steep as you can see. And as I said, rivers flow from high points to low points. So in terms of the gradient, the upper course is steep. In the middle course, the gradient becomes gentle, but as you go to the mouth, it becomes very, very gentle. It's like it's almost flat. In terms of the speed of the river, in the upper course of the river, the, 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 the speed is very fast. Why? Because the river is moving on steep gradient. So sp speed of the river is very fast. As it goes to the middle course of the river, as the, the gradient is gradual, so it becomes slow. And then on the lower course, the river is very, very slow because it has got a lot of load also. And it also wants to deposit material and it's reaching the mouth of the river. So the flow is very, very slow. In terms of the processes, what process is okay? If rivers are flowing very fast in the upper course of the river, then which process should we expect? We are going to expect vertical erosion. Vertical erosion, it can also be called downward erosion because the river is moving downwards on a steep curve. So as it moves downwards, it is also eroding downwards. This is what we call vertical erosion. As you reach in the middle course because of the gradual uh, gradient there, the river now, what do we experience? We experience lateral erosion. And what is lateral erosion? Lateral erosion is whereby you find that the river is now eroding at the banks of the river more. And as you go towards the, 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 the mouth, the river is now very flat again. So what processes do we likely to expect? Deposition of material. So more of deposition will take place within the lower course of the river. Now transverse profile of a river, I said it's a cross section of a river from one bank to another. How then does the transverse profile of a river look like? in the upper course of the river because in the upper course of the river we have steep gradient and the river is flowing very fast we're experiencing vertical or downward erosion it means when we draw a cross section our v we are going to experience the v valleys our transverse profile is more of v shape v and as we go into the middle course of the river because the river erosion is occurring at the banks there then it means that this v valley is going to be a bit wide open so it will look like this because remember erosion has occurred at the banks so it becomes a bit wider there but then as you approach the lower course of the river there because there is more of deposition of material here there's going to be more deposition of material as you go towards the lower cost of the river, it means that you are going to experience a flatter shape there. It will be more of a flatter a bowel shape like. Now when it comes to the landforms, what landforms do you experience in the middle, higher cost, our upper cost of the river? We are going to, this is where we get the waterfalls. 
This is where we also get the rapids. We also have the valleys because of the steep gradients that you're having and also because of the process that is occurring there which is more of vertical erosion in the middle course of the river because we are now having lateral erosion taking place erosion on the sides remember our river is now bending this is where the where we tend to see the meanders in this they start to form within the middle course of the river and as you go towards the mouth because it is very flat and there is more of deposition of material these meanders also are more pronounced here but you find that because of deposition we can also get oxbow lakes here we also get our pediments we also get our deltas because we are approaching the mouth of the river mushes the pediments and so forth so these are the this is how you approach question um this is what will be expected of you by the examiners when you are explaining river profiles and the transverse profile of a river i hope you found this um video informative hit that like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you again in my next video bye thank you